welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be going over the only two setups that i use on a daily basis and what i search for in the market every single day so let's get right on into it so we're just going to start right off on us 30 because this is the only pair that i trade so we're going to be using a few different concepts that i have gone over in my videos previously so just watch my previous videos if you haven't already so you can have a better understanding of what i'm about to go over we're going to be using the concepts of the Asian range. We're gonna be using the concept of the Asian range. We're gonna be using the Fibonacci tool. We're going to be using order blocks, breaker blocks, breaker blocks, and order blocks. And then lastly, we're just gonna be using time of day. That's simply it. This is all we're going to be going over. These are a simple concept. So if you don't know what the Asian range is and how, what the importance of it is, make sure you go watch my previous video on that. Also, if you don't know how to use the Fibonacci tool to better help your trading and to calculate retracements, make sure you go watch the video on that. If you don't know what an order block is or what a breaker block is, make sure you watch videos on that. I have multiple videos for each of those concepts in depth. And then time of day, which is just what time it is of day because we know during certain times of the day there is going to be way more probability of having high volume so these are the concepts we're going to be going over and now let's start off with the first setup the first setup i like to look for is basically in simplest terms the london continuation is what i call it and basically all we do is when we go into the market we search for the asian range we mark up our Asian range when we wake up early in the morning. And we're basically going to look to see when the low of the day was made. So if you see, if you go to check when the Asian range is, you check to see when the low of the day was made. And if it was made during London session, there is going to be a high probability that if we had a push during London session, New York session is going to have a retracement and we're going to try to catch that retracement Okay, so meaning we're trying to catch the London continuation. So I'm going to show you examples of this setup right now. So let's just go to a random part. Let's just go right here. So right here, we're going to mark up our Asian range. So from the Asian range, you want to go to from 19 o'clock all the way to three in the morning. That is what I delineate as the Asian range. You're going to find the lowest low from that time and the highest high so as you can see this is the lowest low and this is the highest high of this asian range and what do we see right now we see that overall we had a push up and then we pushed down during the london session so we know let's mark up to 50 percent of our asian range so we know now if london once had a push down we could be looking for a possible retracement and in going into new york to look for continuation why would we be looking for that because we know that the high of the day so far each day is shown with these dividers so the start of the day was right here the high of the day was during london session and you can see it made this high after clearing these highs to the left so since i see this happening i know that there's a high chance that there could be a continuation of that overall london trend so what are ways i could have been looking for a tree for example, what happened here is if you look at this right here, this last down candle before this up move that took out this high, this was an order block that was previously respected right here and they had a push before being violated. So now this order block turns into a breaker block. And you can see, also we're gonna pull our fib from that high because this is going to be the high that took out the liquidity. So this is the high of the day pull it to here this is where price had this stop before having a retracement why are we using this because this move right here is the one that pushed and broke structure and cleared above these highs so we pulled our fifth from that high to this low we see that price had a almost retrace all the way to the 38.20 percent retrace back into this breaker block before having this overall london continuation so as you can see, London had to push down. We had a small retracement during New York to have continue that overall trend. So this is an example 
of the London continuation. I'm going to show you another example of it. Because mind you guys, you can back test these setups everywhere. You can try it yourself. If you don't believe me, let's just go here. We're going to go from 19 o'clock because this is the Asian range. So we want to see what happened during this time. Just like that. The very highest high from that time zone and the lowest low, which is down here. We're going to mark up the 50% of this area. Just like that. Okay, so this is an example of a this is going to be an example of a New York reversal. So the first setup was the London continuation. I'm going to show you another example after this one. But this one, this next setup that I'm going over is the New York reversal. So basically all we're looking to do is just like the London, London continuation setup, we're looking for the Asian, Asian range. So we're looking for the accumulation. We're going to look for a, a push above highs during New York for potential to have an overall reversal of the day. So just like before, when we were looking to see when the low of the day was made during the line continuation move with this New York reversal, we're going to be looking for the high of the day to be made during New York session. And as you can see in this setup right here, at this time, 830, 930, we came and cleared these highs. So just like we saw, just like we were looking for with the London to see if it was going to make the lower high of the day. We're looking for the same thing but during new york so that's what different that's the difference between these two setups when you're looking for the reversal a new york reversal that's one setup you're going to be looking for the high or the low of the day being created during new york session and if that's happening then you know that there's a high probability that there's going to be a reversal coming soon that's just little things that you can look for and the same thing with the london continuation if you see that the high or the low of the day was created during the London session and it took lows and had a liquidity to grab. And there's a high probability that is going to have a continuation during the New York session. This isn't always gonna happen, but just know that there's a high chance that it can. And as you can see right here, we had a, we have our Asian range. We cleared the lows during London session. Then we came up, but then we came and made more lows during New York. So we already knew that this, this low that was created during the London session couldn't be the low or the high of the day because it already, you can see that already got pushed through. So now price pushed higher, cleared these highs, created the high of the day before having an overall reversal, clearing these lows and these lows down here. So that's an example of my second setup, which is the New York continuation. So now I'm just going to show you guys that there's multiple examples of this happening. You just got to train your eyes to look at these in certain ways. So we're going to do the same thing. Mark up from 19 o'clock to 3 in the morning. Get the highest high from that time zone and the lows low. We're going to mark up to 50%. And now we're going to overall just watch to see what's happening. So overall, we see that we're creating lower lows. We're overall bear short term. We can see that prices respecting this order block right here is respecting this order block this last up candle before it's down move is respecting this order block trade it into it a few times is respecting it so what happens this is our asian range during new york we had a push down we cleared this low so we knew that there was a chance that this could be the low of the day and we could have a retracement to go even higher but you see we had a retracement we came to the 50 percent of that asian range and then if you want to pull your fib from this high right here to this low you see that we had another retracement into this order block into the 50 percent of this asian range and then we trade it into that fib that we drew from that high during london session to the low that it made during new york so we can see that this is an example of a london continuation now I'm going to show you guys another example because I could find these and I have hundreds of examples myself. We're just going to go to another one. Random time. Well, let's just do right here. We're going to go from 19 o'clock to three. We're going to get the highest high from that time zone and the lowest low. As you can see, it's just like this. We're going to mark up to 50%. Okay, so what do we see that's happening? We see that the low of the day 
was created all the way down here. This was at three. So this is right at London, right at the London Open. So we already know that there's a chance that this is going to be the low of the day. Why? Because it had a false break right here that made this low, just like this. Had a false break, never closed below, came right up. So we know that there's already a high chance that this could be the low of the day and we can get a London continuation. So what do we do? We pull our fib from that low. And when we're looking at the charts from our New York session around here, we would have pulled our fib from that high. And you can see that if you get the 38.20%, we had a retracement to this area, which was also in confluence with the 50% of this Asian range. And we knew that the overall trend could still be bit bullish because we made the low of the day. And then all we gotta do is look to get this London continuation to take out these highs or even these highs. And that's all it is. And mind you guys, this isn't even putting into account any higher time frame analysis. This is just strictly going off of looking for certain characteristics in the market. And that's all I do. You don't need to know every single thing about the market. You just need to know what's going to work and what certain things to look for because being disciplined and being able to have a system that you can consistently do every day is what really makes or breaks a trader. So hopefully this little video helped you. This is what I do on a daily basis. And if you wanna watch me do it live, just look at my live streams that I have every single morning when I live trade and you can see me do these certain things live. I just got a lot of questions on what I do in the market, what I do every single day. So I just thought I'd make a little video on what I do every single day. So that same thing that I did rewatch the video if you have to, but those steps that I do are what I do every single day in the market. So if it helped you, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.